Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we're here at the New York International Auto Show and we have some World Car Awards winners. Um, now I'm not sure if one has been moved or not, but you can see the winner World Car of the Year. Maybe it's not announced yet. But here we have the World Electric Car of the Year. This is the the Icon, oh yeah, the Hyundai Iconic 5. Again, if you wanna look at the tech specs, we have it here, you can screenshot it, but you can take a look at this online. We've seen this car when we've walked through Hyundai before, so I won't really go too much into it. Next, we have the World Luxury Car, and this is Mercedes, and this is, wow, this is one of those swooping, bubbly cars. This is the Q, sorry, EQS 584 Matic sedan. Now, I remember when these first came out, this kind of bubbly Mercedes look, I was not a fan, and immediately it says, this is the cheapest Mercedes that you can possibly get. But is, wow, this one starts at $125,000. So things have changed since the last time I've taken a look at this. No longer are these kind of bubbly swooping lines an aspect of their cheapest cars. Now they are on one of their most, well, is it the most expensive? $125,000 is not a beginning price for any model of car. I also do like the matte gray of this. Fan of it for sure. Next, we have the world, sorry, the winner of the world performance car, and this is an Audi. No sign, so they're not doing me any favors, but hopefully they show it on the back. Is this an Audi A8? No, this is an e-tron GT. Nice swooping lines, black and white panda look on it. This one's from Michigan. This is one of those cars that, with the lines that they have, it seems smaller than it actually is. It's a pretty long car. Think of the Porsche. Oh, shoot. What's the name of that Porsche? You know which I'm talking about. The sedan version. But these are the award winners here. This is the winner for World Performance Car. This is the winner for the World Luxury Car. And again, this is all from the World Car car awards powered by Brembo. And finally, because we don't have the other car here, this is the winner of the World Electric Vehicle of the Year. And we can only guess what this absence here, World Car of the Year. Maybe it's a 1998 Honda Civic, who knows. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, put in the comment section below. Don't forget guys, I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.